Hi there, and thanks so much for checking out my bullet journal video. So, it's December. I, I just don't know how it's December. <laughs> Where has the time gone? Oh my gosh, this year has just flown by. I really don't know where the last 11 months of my life have gone. Anyway, existential crisis aside, it is December, and for me that can only mean one thing, and that is Christmas. Um, but this setup, I've gone for a really pretty sort of wintry vibe, so hopefully it will appeal to those who don't celebrate Christmas as well. So as you can see for my cover page, I am cutting out a window, and that's just four rectangles the same size, leaving a crossbar in the middle. I have this really cool washi tape, which is some wooden boards, and I'm sticking it around the edge and on the crossbar just to make it look like it's a wood frame window. It came as part of a Christmassy washi tape set, and I really didn't think I was going to use it, but suddenly I remember that I had it and thought, oh, it would look really cool to make my window frame from. And because I am so extra, I just had to mitre all the corners of the window. Don't ask me why, I just, I can't leave these things as they are. I have to be, I can't be chill about them. I just have to add some extra detail for some reason, make, make life harder for myself. Even though it's a subtle detail, I am pretty happy with it. I think it looks quite cool. And then for my scenery behind, I am just using tracing paper and a white gel pen to create a sort of snowy, wintry scene. So I'm building up different layers of tracing paper to make it look like snow-covered hills, and I think it works really well actually. The, each layer of the tracing paper makes it thicker and makes the black paper sort of less intense so there yeah you get this sort of graduated effect and I think that works out really well. And it's just really simple shapes cut out to fit behind that window. And then once all those layers are stuck together, I'm going in with the white gel pen just to draw some trees over the top. And these are super simple trees to draw. They're just really scruffy, sort of scribbly triangles, one on top of the other, going all the way down the main trunk. And they look really effective. I, I really love this technique. And it's so simple to do, it just it only takes a few minutes and it looks really cool. And then on each hill, I'm just drawing a few smaller trees in the background. And I did swap pens at one point because the gel pen I was initially using is quite a thick nib, so I changed to the jelly roll one because that's a bit thinner and gives a better definition to the smaller trees. Although now that I've finished it, I kind of think I should have drawn a little house in one of the hills somewhere. I thought that would be really cute actually, but I didn't think of it at the time. So never mind, but maybe something for next time.
And then once that little scene is done, I just got one piece of tracing paper to fit over the whole window and covered it in loads of tiny dots to represent snow. And I'm sticking it to the actual window page and then the scene will be stuck to the back page. And initially I did think I wanted to leave those two pages separate so that then you could sort of flip open the window and see the scene behind but actually I kind of thought that was a bit pointless in the end I didn't it didn't they didn't need to be two separate pages so I actually did stick them together although I didn't film that part and then I'm just going in with the gel pen to write December and I did a bit of bouncy faux calligraphy, so I went back over the letters to give the downstrokes a thicker look. And then just to finish off the page, I used this, um, oh, I don't know what to call it, like a, a miniature stamper? No. Uh, well, there's a proper name for it. It's not a die cutter. Uh, I don't know what you call it, but it is a little thing that cuts out little snowflakes. And I thought they looked really cool cut out from the tracing paper and then just stuck all over. Um, they're kind of really subtle, I think, to cut out with the um, the tracing paper rather than using like solid white paper or, or another patterned paper. I think they look really, really nice with the tracing paper. Yeah, I really love how it turned out. I think it looks so cute. I don't really know what else to say about it. It's just like, it's a really cute wintry scene. I just, I love it. I love it. Okay, onto the calendar page. And this time I'm mixing it up a little bit. I wanted just to try something different. Um, so I know some people don't do big calendars. I usually like to do really big ones because I like to write in all of my events on each day but some people do a calendar and then leave space underneath the calendar to then write in all the important dates and events that are happening so I thought I'd give that a go this time and I've just drawn my grid for the month and then underneath left a box to put all of the important dates. And originally I wasn't going to use my Christmas washi tape other than the wood effect one that I used on the front cover but I kind of felt like it just needed a bit more colour, everything was just black and white and I felt like yeah I needed to, to add a bit more I don't know, interest in there. Um, so I did put some washi tape in here and there. I'm not sure I really love the little swatches I did in the corners, maybe they look a little bit weird but well, you know, they're there now, whatever. It's fine. And then the next page is a Christmas theme page. So I'm just doing a really simple spread where I draw two boxes and one for my Christmas shopping and one for my Christmas cards. And I will just write down what gift I'm getting each people in the shopping bit. And then in the cards one, I will just write a list of all the people I need to remember to send the cards to. And I have done it again. I have misspelt something where I was focusing way too much on doing my calligraphy instead of the word I'm actually writing. So I left the I out of Christmas, <laughs> but it wasn't too hard to fix. I just used a black pen to go over the line between the R and the S and I managed to squeeze a little eye in there. And it looks a bit crappy but you know it's not the end of the world. Then I've got my habits and tracker spreads. I'm just going for my usual plant watering one because I'm finding that that one really works out well for me so if it ain't broke don't fix it just keeping going with that. And I'm doing my yoga tracker again. I am persevering with it because I really want it to try and help me do more yoga. But again, this month I've just been too busy and I've just, I've done my one class a week, but I was kind of really hoping it would kind of cajole me into doing more yoga here and there during the week. But so far I just haven't found time, but I want it to work. So I'm just, I'm persevering with it. And then instead of putting my habits down the left side, nope, uh, the right side, sorry, of the page, I've just added in a little to-do list. 
and then again decorated with the washi and the snowflakes. The next page is my memories page and again my calligraphy went wrong, I just didn't do it as big as I planned to do it for some reason and it just ended up being so tiny so then I had to add a bit more decoration, I put some washi tape the other side of it um, and it looks a bit weird but you know whatever. And then just to tie in with the theme of the front cover I decided to put a load of trees along the bottom and I think they look really nice, I love it. And yeah, they are so quick to do and they're just so satisfying because they look really nice. And then is my gratitude log and yeah it's pretty much the same as every time I do it it's just uh, the dates of the month all the way down the page and then I just will do one line every day for something that I am grateful for And then I just added in a quick notes page, um, well I suppose I just had an extra page really, so it's always useful to have a bit of a brain dump area, so yeah I just made this a notes page, nothing special, just simple heading and a few bits of washi tape here and there. And then on to the weekly spreads and this time I'm doing a Dutch door so I have quite small boxes for each day but I don't think that's going to be a problem I don't tend to write too much in each day anyway so yeah I think it's gonna be fine I've decided to put my habits in on my weekly spreads this time I tend to alternate you know sometimes I'll have it on my habits page and then sometimes I will include them in the weekly spreads just however I'm feeling that month and yeah because the week starts with a Thursday this month I didn't quite have enough space to do the habits on the on the side with the Dutch door so I just snuck the first one into the bottom of the notes page um, it won't really matter because I won't need to fill the entire notes page so that'll be fine and yeah I'll just be cutting off the other side of the page there and leaving a little tab uh, which I will decorate with some washi tape to make it more visible. And then on the other side of the Dutch doors, I'm just doing another decoration, the same as the front cover, um, but just a long window rather than a four paned window. And yeah, it's exactly the same technique, um, but I've got one extra hill in there, but yeah, that looks really cute and I love it. I did actually run out of washi tape, so I had to split the washi tape and make it narrower. So <laughs> you might notice it looks a bit narrower than the front one. Um, but yeah, it worked out fine in the end, it was no problem. So that is the last bullet journal setup of 2022. I can't believe that a whole year has gone by already. That's absolutely insane. 
and yeah I'm kind of proud of myself I got through a whole nother year of bullet journaling I mean not that I don't believe in myself or anything but I just I'm really happy that I'm still interested in it because sometimes I get really obsessed with things and then I kind of lose interest after a while but bullet journaling is something that I'm really still loving I'm loving the challenge of thinking of new themes each time so yeah really pleased with all of my spreads this year well most of them there were one or two in there that maybe weren't my best but I think most of them I was really pleased with and yeah looking forward to doing some more for next year thanks so much for watching this video and if you did enjoy it please feel free to give it a like and a comment and if you want to see more bullet journals arts and crafts videos please consider subscribing thanks so much bye